is another testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. We are good to be back. It is good to be back. Um, good news, um, a fight that I don't think um, is going to happen. <laughs> it's going gonna, it's gonna to be ordered. Uh, you know, um, Triple G versus Laura. We're going to get into that. It's been ordered before, um, but apparently they don't care that much about it. Uh, but before we uh, get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing on all forms of social media. Mm-hmm. Uh, also, please subscribe to other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. Uh, that's Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds from that channel go to autism research and recovery. So, the WBA in their con- title consolidation is having their regular champs fight their super champs. Um, and they've ordered now um, Triple G to fight Lada. He has till the middle of April. Um, I'm sorry, the middle of January. That's four months. Um, if you kind of look at his um, recent fights, he, he hasn't really been active. I know he fought Murata back in April and then five months later he fought Alvarez. Um, but before that, he's basically you know, been fighting once a year. Um, he fought yes, Dervinchenko in, in – uh, December of 2019. Then he didn't fight again till um, sorry, it, it was October of 2019. Then he fought Zamarja in December of 2020. It's 14 months. Then he fought Maroda. Uh, he didn't fight at all in 2021. And he fought Maroda in 2022 in April of 2022. Uh, and then he fought Canelo uh, five months later. I, I don't think he's going to fight three times um, in a year in a 12 month span. I, I don't see that happening. Um, we're also getting mixed messages with Canel, uh, with Triple G that he wants to stay at 68, uh, but he also says that he has. Remember, I have three belts at 160, so I don't know what his plans are. Um, and when he says he has three belts, he means I have two belts and the IBF. Right? He's got the IBF, the WBA Super that he just won, and then the IBO, which obviously doesn't count. Uh, so he's got two belts at uh, 160. Um, if the fight did happen, Laura would win every minute of every round and it wouldn't even be close, right? I, I would pick Laura 120 to 108. Um, Laura would uh, box his ears up. Laura, I know they're close to the same age. Laura hasn't aged at all, right? Like, I, I think Laura would just nail him with left hands. You know, he'd catch him coming in, nail him with left hands. And look, I, I know Laura doesn't have the world's greatest knockout regime, but Laura's got plenty of power. Like, we've seen that. Plenty of times, right? So, you know, Laura's not going to be at a power deficit. It's not gonna, it's like, he's not going to be able to phase Triple G. He's going to be fine, right? And Laura is such a master craftsman, and he's so good. I mean, I, I think Laura beats him up on the inside with speed. You know, we're not seeing Triple G's jab the way we used to. He doesn't work the body. He's not going to take Laura's legs away from him in the later rounds. None of that's going to happen. I, I think he's going to be a sitting duck for Aristani Laura who would just sit there and outpoint him and nail him, I mean, with power shots, hurt him. You'll probably not stop him. Last thing that's going to go is Triple G's cast iron joint. He's always going to have that. So I don't see Laura necessarily stopping him. But I, I think Laura puts a clinic on. I, I don't think Laura, I, I know, you know, he's not, his legs aren't what they used to be, okay? His legs aren't what they used to be. But he's still, he's so skilled and he's so crafty. He's not going to have, at this I, I uh, this stage of his career, he's not going to beat Laura. He's not going to have any problem with, with Golovkin. This fight was rumored all the way back in 2016, you know, um, and then again 2017. And it, Laura wanted it, Laura wanted it, and it just couldn't get made, it couldn't get made, it couldn't get made, mostly because Triple G doesn't really like to fight good fighters. We saw him get outboxed by Danny Jacobs. I think Danny Jacobs is an excellent fighter. Laura is way better. Laura is way better. Right, there's not anything that Danny Jacobs does as good as Arizona Laura, and no disrespect to Danny Jacobs, he's an excellent fighter. Uh, but Laura is, is is a master craftsman, and I mean, I, I want the fight to happen, right? Because I want Laura. Laura doesn't have a legacy fight. Laura got robbed in his legacy fights. He got robbed with Canelo. 
And he got robbed so bad with Paul Williams back in the day. You know, that's got to be 12 years ago now. He got robbed so bad in that fight that the judges, all, it was in the Lake City, New Jersey, all the judges got suspended. That's how bad that, that's how that's how Lauder gets treated. And then he got robbed again with Jared Hurd. So, I mean, all of his legacy fights, he gets robbed. I mean, would, would they rob him again in this fight? I, I think he would beat um, Triple G so badly that there's no way you could rob him. Right, and there's just no way. Uh, although, look, we always joke and we always talk about how much the judges like Canelo. They really like Triple G too. <laughs> he got the Jacobs decision he didn't deserve. He got the Derevchenko decision, which was atrocious. I mean, that was that was him getting a decision over Derevchenko was a robbery of of the decade in, in in that you know in a big fight like that. Um, the it was in New York. There were two judges. Well, one judge, Frank Lombardi, who doesn't score big fights. He scored at 115, 112 for uh, Triple G. And then Eric, uh, Eric Marlinski was the other one. And then Kevin Morgan had it close at 114, 113. But there's no way. 115, 112. You, you, you think Triple G went seven rounds with Darren Chango? Would you like to go back and watch the fight and show me five that he wins? You can't show me five that he wins. I mean that that is that was just an egregious, horrible decision. But I mean, he gets those. He got the Jacobs decision, right? I mean, again, that wasn't as bad as Daravinchenko. Daravinchenko beat him up. So you know, we always talk about Canelo getting the benefit of that. One, like, one of the judges always likes Canelo. Uh, you know, they, 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 they like Triple G too. You know, the, the Daravinchenko fight. There wasn't a single person watching that fight that scored it. For Triple G, yet all three judges did, and, and you go back to the Jacobs fight again. Most people scored that fight for Jacobs. Again, all three judges scored it for Triple G. How is that possible? I I, I can tell you how it's possible. It, it had horrible judges, right? I mean, it kind of is what it is. You had Steve Weisfeld, who I. I did a video on it's awful, and Max DeLuke is probably the worst. Max DeLuke actually had it the close at 114, 113 uh, in, in, in the Jacobs Triple G fight, but they're terrible judges. I, I don't understand why boxing can't get bring in new blood, bring in new judges, and get rid of the terrible ones. Um, but again, I, I don't know that this Lauder Triple G fight is actually going to happen. I, I don't think it is. I, I think Triple G will vacate. I think he'll fight at 68, potentially. 68, uh, uh, you know, it's the path back to Canelo. You know, he, he says this, he has not conceded victory to Triple G despite being 0 2 and 1 against him. Obviously, not because he wants that triple, uh, he wants that Canelo money. Triple G does not concede he lost to Canelo, right? He says the battle's still going. Um, and, and uh, you know, look, he wants a, a fourth Canelo paycheck. <laughs> you know, I, I don't blame him. Um, he's willing to take a beating, you know. I, I did the video yesterday. I think Canelo shot. I, I think Triple G is obviously shot, uh, but he, he still wants that money. If he's willing to take a beating, you know, he, he built himself up. Um, HBO built him up to a star. So, you know, cash in, you know, cash in if you want to. Um, but let me know what you guys think. Do you think the fight's going to happen? If so, do you agree with me that Laura's going to gonna wash him? Uh, leave your thoughts, comments below. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe to 3D Boxing. Uh, Quick hits comes at you every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day. Keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. Uh, please subscribe to our other channel as well, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. It is no, uh, September 19th, 2022. From Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.